paint and sip. Now we do watercolour paintings, but it's easy to do painting from home. I just have a watercolour set, and that's pretty much all you're going to need to do watercolours from home. You just need a little brush, so it's pretty simple. Watercolours we just do on paper. I just use a paper book and I just pull a leaf out of that, and then um, put that paper. I just need a cup of water, and I just take the paper on, so just a little bit of tape. And for a paint and sip, we've got our bottle of wine and glass. So first of all, what I'll do just to get started is I'll take my paper to the board. So we're ready to. So I just use a little bit. Of paper. Okay, so for a paint and sip, we'll get our sip ready. So I just. Enjoy having a little bit of uh, wine. It's always fun opening these bottles as well. We're doing Monet's garden, so I just call it our awesome stream. There's a lot of blossoms in there. It's an amazing painting, amazing colours. So uh, we'll have our sip and get started. Okay, so for this one here, we're going to start with the outside colour of green. So I'm going to get a bit of green ready. And I'll pour out some yellow blonde colour because it's next colour. So to get started on this painting, what we're going to start with is the green on the sides. So uh, I'm going to just mix up a little bit of green. Now to do this, you just mix up a little bit of the yellow with the blue and that will give you the green. So a lot of these watercolour sets do come with the pre-mixed colours with green, which makes it a lot easier. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's actually how you mix up those colours. Now uh, we're just going to paint in both sides with the green and then we will be all set um, for the, the plants on the side. And there is, you can notice, a lot of yellow that's actually on the sides there as well. Uh, we're light setting the plants, so with any painting it's all, all about having light and dark. And that light, when it first hits the plants, we a nice bright yellow colour. So we just um, add a fair bit of water, like we put a bit of concentrate down on the sides and then you can see I'm just going to be using a fair bit of water just to spread, spread it out and then I'm just going to go in a uh, strip of yellow next to that and then I'll blend, blend it in a little bit once I've got all the yellow in there. So I'll just pull up the side with the yellow. Yes, yeah, so this painting was actually originally inspired by um, Monet's garden in Holland and I actually took it off one of my own photos. So it was actually like my own little revamp of it. And um, yeah, so it's quite a nice piece to do. And I've, I've gone, normally I sort of say you can go for jacarandas or all blossoms. So this one is more. The blossoms are pretty popular for the pink colour. So I'm going to fill in both of these sides, bringing it pretty close to up towards the top there because the, the plants do, the trees do meet up upstairs there and form a little bit of a canopy. Okay, so just mixing in between the yellow and the green. Now the green does pull across a fair bit because it is a darker dominant colour. So I'm just using a little bit of water here. That's the great thing with watercolours is it easily blends across. Colors. Um, 
it's just using a little bit of water just all the way up, it's blending between the green and the yellow. Now as you're working through this painting, you can just put it on pause any time, but a good indicator of when to actually pause is when I do actually um, have generally a sip between colours. So if I grab my glass, generally I'm sort of saying, okay, we're, we're changing colours to a new colour. Have a cheers, have a drink. That's a good time to pause the camera I'm in your video and just catch up, have a little drink and then uh, keep on working, moving to the next stage. Okay, so I'm just doing the, I call it the splotchy splotch technique. I'm just putting in big splotches when, when I mix, mix it in with the, uh, against the uh, green. So I just use a lot of yellow there and just do the splotchy splotch technique, which is just basically pushing the brush up against the canvas. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to the pink. Next, now to do the pink, we're going to make the colour up with a little bit of red with some white. So just mix that up and you don't need a lot of red, just a little bit of red with that white. Mix in a little bit of water and here we go, cheers for change the colour to the pink. So that's a good indicator to do this. You just got a taste of one of my art sessions. So basically that's a paid session, so you got to see a little bit and you can see the rest of it, but you just got to go online and uh, sign up. So just check out my website and there's a huge variety of paintings, so just check them all out. Okay, cheers. See ya. Wesley, Wesley, Taylor, art, art, studios.